Good evening from Birmingham. I'm Nick Kuzma. That is Simon Williams. The season is over for the Auburn men's basketball team, falling to the top-seeded Houston Cougars. Simon, the Tigers were up by 10 at halftime, but now as we look upon the final score, it wasn't particularly close. Absolutely not. There was a 10-minute stretch after the under-16 media timeout where Auburn didn't hit a single field goal. It was nearly 10 minutes of game time. So yes, they scored by way of free throw. Yes, they took the lead, sometimes tied it by way of that free throw, but they couldn't get a two from the field to fall. And that's ultimately what did them in. That's true. Let's just talk about some stats, why don't we? Let's just look at the bad luck percentages. We're talking about field, line, and three. Pretty much Houston took control in all those areas. And one I really got to look at is the free throw percentage of the Auburn Tigers, just 52.8%. That is not how you're going to advance with Sweet 16. That's not how you're going to climb back in from a double-digit deficit. Yeah, that's what helps separate if you're up, but not when you're down that much. It was really difficult for Auburn to climb back into the game after not hitting anything from the floor. They shot 50% at the end of the first half. Okay, that's fine. Not a number you want to end your game on, but they progressed to shoot under 40% for the game from the floor. Just not a recipe for uh, winning, uh, winning a basketball game here. A further look at the box score for Auburn. A tie for team high 14 points for both Janai Broom and Jalen Williams. Both of them had 14 points. But you look across the way, we're talking about 22 points from Sasser, a guy who we thought might be injured with a groin injury. He didn't look too hurt out there on the floor tonight. No, he's a freak athlete, and he showed it. There was one stretch in the game, a four-minute stretch from the eight-minute to four-minute mark in the first half where he was minus three. Every other time he was on the floor, he was plus five or more. His impact on this game is quantifiable. And they go on to win by double digits. No surprise. Absolutely no surprise there. And, and Simon, what do you think of the atmosphere here tonight? I mean, uh, you, you go into this one thinking that, yeah, we're talking about a top-seeded Houston team taking on you know, a nine-seed Auburn. So it, should, it would be an upset if Auburn pulls it off. But all of a sudden we're rolling in here and it feels like an Auburn home game. But that didn't seem to matter to the Cougars, especially in the second half. No, and all 100 Houston faithful that stood behind their bench were loud and rowdy standing the whole game so they made their presence known for sure but we can't forget about those few Alabama fans who were waiting for the second game of the day who hung around earlier to watch Auburn and maybe root against their rival Tigers sure I was expecting a little bit more of that I thought all of a sudden we're gonna hear some big-time boos because you're right Simon right after Alabama is in action and that's what's going on right behind us as we speak Alabama is we of course unfortunately due to the time of our newscast we can't show you the highlights of either of these games and we can't tell you the final score of what's going on in terms of Alabama, but we will have that recap coming your way tomorrow in Sports Extra. So that's it. We're going to take a little bit of time out. When we come back after the break, we're going to talk about some more postseason action with the Alabama women as well as the UNA men, plus some UAH softball and baseball. Are you down, Simon? Oh, I can't wait. All right, we're going to talk about it after the break. Stay with us.